Hello everyone, uh, welcome to round number one of this Magic Online video. Uh, we won the die roll and we will play first. And I'm going to be battling here with Mono Green Aggro. Uh, hopefully you watched the deck tech for the deck. Uh, Steven Gardner played this and finished in the top eight of the SCG Open in Portland with the deck. And I'm going to be running it through a daily event to see how it performs there. So hopefully you stick around and watch the four rounds and... Uh, see how his awesome mono green aggro deck can do in this daily event. Uh, so, yep, let's go ahead and jump into game one here. And this hand is pretty sweet, but we only have a single land, and I can't really keep it, so I do have to mulligan this. And hopefully our six is a little bit better. And it looks like our six is definitely better. It's still just one land, but we have Elvish Mystic, so we can start uh, curving out a little bit earlier. So uh, we'll go ahead and keep this and really just hope it pans out for us and start off with an Elvish Mystic and if we don't draw a land we can cast Avatar the Resolute if we do we can start jamming things like Boon Satyrs or Den Protectors as well so <coughs> and our opponent is playing Temple of Silence so good chance he's on something like uh, Abzan Control or something of the like and we did not draw a land so we'll just play this Avatar and send it back and hopefully we don't get wrecked by a removal spell on our Elvish Mystic that would be very unfortunate. Lanor Waste. Alright, hopefully no Bioblade. Yep, that's a Bioblade. Okay, well, we're in real bad shape. I guess uh, could be, could have been worse. We could have uh, not had that other Elvish Mystic. Or we could have gotten both of our Elvish Mystics Biobladed. Um, so, this was worse than drawing a land, I guess, but not significantly so. And hopefully we draw a land next turn and can jam Boon, a couple lands in a row, Boon Sater to Surak, and maybe we can actually get something going. Uh, probably a Corsair. Yeah, this is going to be really hard for us to beat since we don't have any way to punch through that Corsair. And we still don't. Well, we're just going to cast a Den Protector and say go. I don't want to... I don't want to bluff attack here because if he just blocks with this Corsair it's really bad for us. Alright, Opulent Palace. So our opponent is playing uh, four color it looks like. And there's a downfall in an Elvish Mystic. Uh, this is bad. Alright. Uh, well our draw has been really bad and we've fallen pretty far behind, but I guess we're not necessarily out of the game yet. Uh, that Siege Rhino probably puts it away, but uh, we'll see. Um, Thoughtseize, I mean, I don't really care about getting Thoughtseize. Our hand's pretty bad. <laughs> we can't cast anything, nor will we be able to, really, so uh, Thoughtseize does not bother me at all. And our opponent takes our other two drop. <coughs> All right. And hopefully we can draw some land cards. We did not. And yep, don't see any reason to attack here. And let's see what our opponent. Has. Another removal spell. Yep. Well, that's scary when they draw a Siege Rhino and you see that there's still a Siege Rhino on top of their deck. Ooh, and they have another Thought Seize. Probably going to take our other two drop here. And I'm going to guess this is probably a Rhinoceros. And indeed it is. Yeah, and I expect that Corsair to get into the red zone. Alright, well... Uh, I guess we'll just play on. I mean, we, we, we're we dead at this point. We're not going to win. But uh, I'm just going to play on and see if we can't see maybe more of his deck. Uh, maybe we see something like a whip or something. I, I assume he's playing a whip. But uh, maybe we'll see something that will, you know, disdainful stroke. That's an interesting one to see in the main deck. You know, not one that I would expect to see. So um, this looks like maybe Abzan Control with disdainful strokes. 
and Dragon Lord Ojitai. See, we ended up we did end up seeing some cards that we uh, didn't really expect to see. So <coughs> that's you know good to know. Now we know that there's a Dragon Lord Ojitai in this Abzan deck, <laughs> and we can play accordingly. And we are dead here, so we'll go ahead and concede. Uh, all right, so how do we want to sideboard here? So we we'll go ahead and see what we have access to here. Um, a lot of removal spells, so Ranger's Guile is definitely appealing. I think our creature base is fine. Uh, we don't want like Mist Cutter. We definitely want this. We want this Reclamation Sage for Corsair. <clears throat> Although actually maybe we don't. I mean if it's just Corsair with Dragon Lord Ojitai, like there's probably no whips or anything. So I think for just Corsair I'm fine without this. But I, I do want Guile and uh I don't really want uh, I mean I guess we could have Hunt the Hunter to kill Corsairs and Rhinos, but I'm really sketchy of skeptical of cards like this against removal heavy decks, especially when he has Ojitai, so I don't really think I want that. Um, let's see. I have to cut a couple cards. I don't think Servant of the Scale. <laughs> it's just way too too weak on its own. Um, I think we cut the Become Immense as well, since I don't. I think Aspect of Hydra is better. And I don't want too many of this kind of a card against a deck that's going to kill a lot of our creatures, especially now that we have four Rangers Guiles as well. Uh, so we'll run this configuration, and uh, hopefully this uh, these games go better for us. We don't have to get wrecked as badly. Uh, okay, we can keep this hand. Um, not exciting, but it's, it's definitely a better hand. We'll just start with the forest. And I'm not going to fetch first because uh, I actually want to draw more lands. Okay. And here, uh, I'm just going to jam a Swordwise Centaur. And if we draw like a land, we can play Elvish Mystic plus Avatar. Uh, that will really set us up for later. Right. Well, we are getting Thought Seized here. So, be interesting to see what our opponent takes. They might take like our best creature here, which is Reverent Hunter, uh, but I could also see them take the aspect if, since it's our only way to push through, push a creature through uh, one of their blockers. But they do take the Reverent Hunter. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, we did not draw a land. So now we have a decision to make. We could cast the Avatar, uh, or we could play these Elvish Mystics. Uh, I think I just want to jam these Mystics, but we could very easily get wrecked by Bioblade or Drown in Sorrow, which would be very sad. So I'm hoping that <laughs> uh, our opponent just doesn't have one of those cards. And it's a Corsair, okay. Stand Step Citadel on top. Uh, I think I'm fine trading Aspect of the Hydra for one of his creatures. So, hmm. and now we have to basically we have to decide how many we're attacking with. Uh, we can get an extra point of damage in, but then we're locked into playing Avatar the Resolute instead of Deathmist Raptor. Uh, which I'm not sure we want to do. So I think we're just going to do this. And our opponent might is probably just going to block this Swordwise Centaur. And we'll just sh fire off an Aspect. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and Aspect of Hydra it. Kill that Corsair. Um, and now I'm just going to jam. 
Uh, we'll cast it face up, although there there is merit to face downing it <coughs> as well. But here, I think we just want to face up it, and our opponent's just playing a morph, so probably Den Protector would be a reasonable guess. Let's see what we draw. Nothing. Uh, well, I'm just gonna send everything, and our opponent can eat a, an Elvish Mystic if they want, but take seven. I'm okay with that. Uh. And I'm just going to play Avatar of the Resolute, and I'm trying to think if there's a draw where it matters if we play this one so teeth, I'm just going to not play it. Although maybe we're supposed to play it and fetch just to thin ourselves out of forest a bit. Our opponent's doing nothing. Interesting. Ooh, that was a good draw. Well, we'll send the team and see what happens. Uh, I'm not going to fire this off until our opponent's really done anything. So here, this is a lethal amount of damage. Uh, so I'm willing to just pass priority. And we'll see what our opponent's play is. Abzan Charm to exile the Avatar. Okay. Uh, I think I'm still... I kind of still want to just proceed to damage here so that this morph creature... Like, our opponent's probably just going to flip the morph. And then we can aspect our unblocked creature. Yep. All right, that gives us a perfect opportunity to just aspect this guy and kill him. <coughs> All right, sweet. We uh, crushed in that game. Seemed like we had a kind of mediocre draw, but we were able to get the job done anyway, which is sweet. Uh, let's see. So, Den Protector. I still think that I want just the setup here. Uh, our opponent has a lot of removal spells, so uh, Guile still seems great, and, and Aspect seems great. And then other than that, I think we just want uh, as many creatures here. So uh, I think I want to stick with this, although I could see cutting a Surak for like a, a Sage. But I think that I, I think that we want just to max like this. So uh, we'll stick with this build, and hopefully this works out well for us again in game three. Uh, game two was pretty sweet. Although we are in the draw this game and this hand's a lot not great uh, because of we have so many lands but it's not a mulligan by any stretch so uh, we are definitely going to keep it. And uh, I'm just going to start off with a fetch land because we just want to thin our deck as much as possible. So, um, yeah, we're, we're just going to run the fetch fetch game and then play the Swordwise Centaur. Um, fetch as early and often as possible so we don't draw any more. Draw less land. So in our upkeep here, we're going to fetch. Grab a nifty old forest. Draw Nykthos, which is not what we wanted to draw, but... It is what it is. <coughs> Jam Swordwise Centaur. Oh, I should have fetched again. That was that was really loose of me. Oh well. Hopefully we draw something gas next turn and it doesn't matter. So if our opponent our opponent should kill our Swordwise Centaur right now so we can't guile. Um but they might just be playing like a Corsair. Yeah. Corsair, and they just have a forest on top. We drew another forest, man. Her draw's not been great. Uh, let's go ahead and just jam, and I'm willing to just trade my Guile for his Corsair if he blocks. And he does not block. And we'll just uh, play another Swordwise Centaur. Oh, Bioblight. That's bad news bears for us. Actually, it's not that big of a deal because of Guile. Uh, 
All right, so there's a forest and no play. All right, uh, hmm. well, we'll just cast Surak. Although I don't really want to. I don't want to do anything here because I he has that bile blight coming next turn. Oh no, I forgot to attack. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> I just clicked right through my attack step. But our Surak I guess is getting killed anyway, so um Yeah, it is what it is. I'd rather save my two swordwise centaurs with the Ranger's Guile than save my Surak. Um but I guess I guess our opponent was gonna kill it with a downfall anyway. Well, well, let's uh let's go ahead and Ranger's Guile that guy. Protect him from a bio blade. Uh, one swift teeth. Our opponent. I guess it's probably gonna fetch away that thought to use, but. Alright, hopefully we draw some gas here and not more forests. Boon Sater's pretty good. Uh, yeah, Boon Sater's actually a really good draw here. Especially with this Nykthos in play. Alright, no blockers, so let's go ahead and bestow on one of these. This Nykthos has actually been pretty good. <laughs> it's let us uh, 7, 10... So this is 10 damage, it'd be 6 more, but I think I'm fine with just doing 10. And and just saving this aspect of Hydra. We'll see if our opponent probably doesn't draw that Thought Seize, yeah. Okay, so I would have been really sad if they drew the Thought Seize and uh, it caused us to get wrecked by that, but... Instead, they're going to draw Ultimate Price and then Drown in Sorrow. So, probably our opponent's going to try to Ultimate Price this Swordwise Centaur and then Drown us next turn. So, that's bad news for us. So, Drown and Ultimate Price. We don't know the rest of our opponent's hand. Uh, it could really just be anything. Something sweet. This feels like ultimate price. It is indeed ultimate price. Whew! Talk about a delight. Alright, well I think we're going to go for the kill. Since we're going to get drowned in sorrow next turn anyway. And I don't know what removal spell our opponent can have for this mana, so... Uh, let's bestow Boon Seder onto Boon Seder. And hopefully our opponent just doesn't have anything. Because if so, they are dead. No, another ultimate price. Oh my gosh, that's really bad. You just had double price. Must uh, I could have played more conservatively, but that's that's annoying. Oh well. I guess that uh, not much we could have done about that. I just didn't think that they had another removal spell, but they did. And Bioblade on top. Uh, and Corsair's really just putting them out of reach.
I think I just have to trade. I mean, they're drawing a Bioblade next turn, so we're not we're not winning that fight. Hopefully, we can just. Oh no! And I draw Surak. Oh well. A better opponent. Yeah, it keeps the Bioblade, and then drawing yet another Bioblade. That's frustrating. Okay, so our opponent just has two bio blights. We can't attack into this courser though. Um, but they do. Our opponent does only have one black source, so I guess that's comforting. Yeah, we can't attack. There's another bio blight and Abzan charm. Man, all right, this is <laughs> not looking good for us. Maybe we'll draw. A nope. This is uh, it's frustrating. I can't attack here because he just blocks and then bio blights and I I lose. Now he has two bio blights and an Abzan charm. So uh, it's just even bad for us. All right, fetching interesting. Maybe he just doesn't have another land to get. Okay, just failed to find interesting. Iron and Sorrow. And Absent Charm. Uh, so they drew... Sand Step Citadel was the card drawn, I guess. So, two Bile Blights, a Sand Step Citadel, and something else. I think Magic Online is really confusing about what our opponent's drawing, so that's kind of annoying. Supposedly it was Drown and Sorrow, that's it. So Drown and Sorrow and two Drown and Sorrow, two Bio Blights and an Abzan Charm is what my opponent has. Alright, well here's Reverend Hunter. Bioblight. That's fine. Uh, we do get to attack with Surak now, though. So, sweet. Clock him down to five. Uh, if we can draw some running threats in a row here. Oh, downfall's bad. <laughs> Alright. It's going to be really hard to win this game. Two Bioblights are drowned. And uh, like a sand steps at all, I guess. Ooh, that's a really good one. That was a really good draw. All right, so it's two bio blights. I know one was used, so a bio blight and a drowned. And I think it's a sand step citadel and a swamp. So what do I want to get back? Bioblade, a drown, a sand step citadel, and a swamp, and a downfall. Hmm. <coughs> well, I guess I just attack with Surak here. And if our opponent blocks with Corsair, we can flip this Den Protector up. Drawing a Den Protector is probably our best draw. That was, that was really good. We have access to Ranger's Guile and Aspect. We can also get back a Boon Seder, which is really good on the Den Protector. So we have we have a lot of sweet options here. All right, so trying to remember our opponent's hand: Bioblight, Drown, Sand Step, Citadel, and Swamp. <laughs> At least I believe that is it. And they can't; they have no more lands to get with one swept teeth, which is nice.
Okay, block. Uh, and I'm just going to pass priority here. All right, and there's the Bioblight. So now, flip up Den Protector and grab. I guess Ranger's Guile. Our right, Surak's going to die to a downfall next turn. There's going to be a downfall and a drowned. But I guess that's fine. I just... Basically getting rid of that Courser seems really big for us. Um, yeah, here comes the Drown and Sorrow. See if our opponent scries to the top or bottom. On top, that's bad. And here comes the Downfall. Yep. And then there is... Yep, a Sand Step. So their, their hand is Swamp plus whatever's on top of their deck. Alright, so that was a bad draw for us. Hopefully we draw, like, another Den Protector would be great. Alright, so our opponent probably drew a removal spell if they didn't cast whatever they drew. Alright, stop drawing lands. <laughs> We've drawn enough of those. Den Protectors would be great. Death Mist Raptors would be great. Alright, so our opponent drew another land, so they have a uh, Swamp still in their hand, plus what is probably a removal spell. Alright, well, we're just going to cast Reverend Hunter as a potential 2-2, I guess. Uh, not exciting, but it's just better than not having anything in play. Let's see what our opponent does. 2-3, Corsair, downfall on top. So we still don't know the unknown card in hand. Uh, we do know there is a downfall coming. Draw, another wooded, another land. This is really bad for us. We, we've gone through a lot of the lands in our deck, though. So, Oh no, and a Siege Rhino. Alright, how about anything would be nice. Yeah, we only have three forests left in our entire deck. Okay, that's not bad. We'll cast that face down. Um, and I don't think our opponent wants to kill it. Alright, Rhino, and then the fourth Corsair. Oh, that's bad. Our opponent does have a Downfall in hand. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to flip this guy up. I'm gonna play an avatar. I mean, it's gonna be pretty big. Our opponent has to kill our deathmas now, or forever hold their peace. We know they have a downfall and an unknown, so there's the downfall. We'll see if we see the unknown. No attacks. Uh, let's see. We are okay. Corsair. Niavamaya Coast, and there's Ojitai. <laughs> All right, that's bad for us. And I think our opponent probably still has a removal spell in hand too. Uh, based on a card they kept on top of their deck. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can safely... I don't think I can block here because I just get destroyed too bad. Oh, Ranger's Guile. Okay. Alright, well we still can't attack. Not good for us. Another Rhino. Well... That is even worse for us. Um, we really, yeah, 
we had an opportunity actually here. So we we were pretty far behind, and I might have done that den protector turn wrong. All right, well here I have to double block and get uh, quote quote blown out by whatever he has. But re in reality, we're just gonna ranger's guile. So or not, he just maybe just doesn't have anything. All right, I guess maybe he just doesn't have, or maybe he just knows we have this. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, we're actually just dead to the Rhino plus the Dragon Lord. <sighs> Alright, well. We ended up losing. Um. A uh, kind of close match. Uh, maybe I did something wrong there with Den Protector at some point. Uh, it did feel like we flooded out a lot. We didn't draw that many. We didn't. We only drew one Den Protector and very late a Death Mist Raptor, and we definitely needed more of those. Um, but it also felt like we really needed Collected Company in our sideboard for a matchup like this uh, to really just catch us up and pull us ahead. Uh, just not having any way to pr provide card advantage is really going to hurt us in, in a grindy matchup like against an Abzan control deck. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind is uh, we definitely want access to a card like that next time. Uh, but anyway, that was round one. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and stick around for round number two, which will be coming up right after this.